Welcome back to our Beatrice YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful, elegant sleeve. It's a very beautiful sleeve and it is simple to make. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this sleeve, you need your basic sleeve block like this right okay it's a long sleeve so i have it to the actual length that i want that's from the shoulder to the wrist which is around 22 inches so this is the basic sleeve that i'm working with and i already have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve on the channel if you don't know how to draft it so you may want to check that out okay so if you notice the sleeve is in two parts there is one that is done with a plain fabric that the hardest stone to and the other one is the pencil part of the sleeve to make it a long sleeve so for the first part it depends on where you want it to be but for me i want it to be just a little above my elbow point so the elbow i normally use is that's uh, the measurement i use for that place is around 12 inches so i'm just going a bit above it which is with 13 inches for me so from my shoulder points i measure 13 inches and i marked it and i'm going to be detaching that like this okay so now i'm going to be keeping this part of my sleeve which is what i'll be cutting on my lace okay so this is the center fold for the sleeve this is the center fold and this is going to be my side seam so i'll keep this for my lace like i said and then we'll work on the ex, ex the exaggerated part of the sleeve so to do this now to draft the pattern i'll be drafting this on a fresh pattern paper and i'm bringing in my fresh pattern paper here so the first thing i'm going to be doing depending on how big you want it to be before i place this pattern on this paper on this paper i'm going to be measuring from here i'll measure around between six to ten inches okay depending on how big you want it to be so i can do like eight inches so i'm going to be measuring that eight inches now and then i'll make it into a straight line okay so i'm making the eight inches into a straight line so before i place my actual pattern on it like this and also on the upper part here remember the pattern stops here okay so let me just rule that place so that i will know where my pattern stops okay so my pattern stops here and i went in by eight inches before i want to place my pattern i hope you understand this just watch it carefully so my pattern stops here now and i'm going to be holding that with a, with a masking tape okay so the pattern is all in place for me so the next thing i want to do now is to determine the height I want to use to raise the, the curved design that we see on this leaf. So to do this now, I'm going to be dividing what I have here by 2. Remember, I used 8 inches initially, so divided by 2 is going to give me 4 inches. And on that 4 inches point, depending on the height you wish to work with, I'm going to be going up by 2 or 3 inches, depending on what you want. But I think 2 and a half or 3 is fine for me. So here, I'll be going up by 2 and a half inches. So after I'm going up by two and a half inches, I'm going to be connecting from the apex of my sleeve. Remember, this is my actual sleeve pattern now. From this point, I'm going to be connecting from here to through this point back to this point. So you can either use your free hand or you just use a curve to do this. So I'm connecting it from here to here and then back to this place. So it shouldn't be too sharp. It should just go like that and relax well for you. So after connecting like that, the next thing I'm going to do is to connect from the end line of my sleeve to this point also. Like you're forming like a heart shape. Okay, so I'm just going to be connecting this with my free hand like this. And then I'm going to connect it to this point. So if you look at it, you can see that we are trying to form the shape that we have on that sleeve. Okay. That is what I'm trying to form, and that is all I need for my pattern. 
so you just need to draw it well so that you know have something sharp and then you're sure that you have like something that you have on that pattern so that's what i'm trying to do now that i have this i can cut this out so before i can cut it out you can cut it out with your pattern or you just retrace your pattern here so that i can remove it so i'm trying to remove the masking tape here so that i can draw the pattern here so now you are retracing your pattern your basic slip pattern that you have so let me just explain this to us so that we will not get confused remember this is our basic slip pattern that we have this is the part that we normally sew to our hand pull so i'll be labeling this part the hand pull so that we don't get confused when i cut it remember this part here is the hem line of the sleeve so i'll be labeling this part the hem okay I remember this here is the side of the sleeve where we are going to be shaping the sleeve so i'm going to be labeling this side the side okay and this is the design that we have formed so now i'm going to be cutting out this shape so i've cut this out now and this is the shape that i have i'm going to set the rest aside i remember that this sleeve continues all the way to my lace pattern also so now I'll be taking this to my fabric now. I'll cut this on a doll face fabric. So this is the doll face that I'll be using to cut this. And this is the lace fabric that I'll be using to cut the lower part. So I'll cut it and bring it back to show us. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut this shape now on my fabric. And I added half inch allowances round. So my side already has a seam allowance. Okay, let me shift it. My side seam already has allowance. That's why I'm not adding any allowance to the side seam. So now this shape has been cut out now. I'm just going to notch the cardinal petri. Remember from here to here is where you attach it to your armhole, which is labeled the armhole. So I'm just going to notch that point here so that I'll know that I'll stop my sewing at this point. Okay. Okay, so now I've cut it out and I had it. If you are using a fabric that is strong enough, you may not need to add this gum stay, but I'm using a doll face and it's a bit soft. So I'm adding this gum stay to it. So for each of these sleeves, that's this I'm doing is just one sleeve. You cut two of this pattern. So now the next thing is for us to sew it. To sew this, I'm just going to be explaining it using the pattern. Remember from here, from this fold, what I folded here is our actual sleeve pattern okay so this is just the extension that we added to you and the extension if you look at it very well it's just like you do like a half heart shape okay, so i've sewn it round now following my pattern i hope we are not confused i just sew it following the pattern okay all right so this is it like this i want the okay i want the part that i label to be up so i just first sewed it following the pattern like this so now the next thing is for me to just notch it remember it's a lot of curve there so that it can relax well you can also reduce your seam allowance and at every point you can decide to check if the shape you have is fine with you if it's not fine with you you can reshape it okay and also if you be adding gum stay to this let's say you are using a fabric you want to add maybe a color stay or peplum stay to it to stand well you will need to line this and to line it you just need to cut this shape exactly like this you sew it exactly like this also then you use them to turn out each other but if you are using a fabric that is strong enough you may not need lining so for the pencil part of the sleeve I want I to put my fabric on fold like this. Remember, I label this as my center front, so it's going to be my fold point. So I'm going to place my pattern like this, okay? And I did not have any allowance on my side seam because I already have allowance there, and I had a half inch allowance on the upper part here because I will be sewing it to this upper one. So now I'm going to set it aside and then I'm going to turn out this shape that I have here. Remember the notch that we have here for our armhole. So this lower part here is the armhole. Now I'm going to bring out what I have here. Okay, so these have been turned now and it's iron. 
and you can see that the place that is closed that is neatly closed here is the place where we have our shape and like i said you can alter the shape anyhow you want if you want it bigger if you want it smaller you can do it so this is the notch that i placed here for me to stop so that i'll know that my armhole part okay where i labeled the armhole continues to this place and this is the hem line so this hem line remember on the pattern it is continuous like this so this lace part will be added to this hem line so here now i'm just going to take it to the same machine now and then open up this place and place my lace fabric on it like this and then i'm going to sew so it have to match each other you can see that the points match because we use the same pattern for it so now i'll place it to the machine on the machine now i'll sew it before we join it together on the sides so i've sewn it now you can see i've gone ahead to sew it you just spread it out and you sew it straight so that's not be packing and i like to use contrasting color of thread so that we'll be able to pick what i am doing so now we've sewn it and this is what our sleeve is looking like now the next thing to do now is to close our side seam which is here so now take it to the machine now and close the side seam and then this arm all class part is what we'll be sewing to the arm hole of our, for our main bodies okay i've sewn this with my allowance now and then i'm going to bring everything out Okay, so these have been neatly turned now and hang on and this is what we have so this part here is what we'll be sewing to our ham hole like i said i'll take this to the mannequin and so that we'll see what it looks like so now the sewing that you're going to be sewing is just on this extension part so i'll take it to the sewing machine now from here you can notch it from here you sew it all the way to this place and then back to where your arm hole starts which I have added a notch here. So now I'll take it to the machine now and then sew it round like that. Then bring it back to show. Okay, so this is our sleeve and this is the design that we formed with it. And like I said in the video, you can go with any shape that you want. You can test your pattern first before you transfer this to your fabric. And you want, if you want some gathers on the arm O2, you just need to increase the arm O measurement you use to draft so that it will give you enough room to add some pleats or gathers to it. So this is the pencil part of the sleeve and we used a lace fabric for that. Okay, so this is what the full sleeve is looking, is looking like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.